Hello and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Never mind. Um, I got loads. Oh, welcome to my workshop. It looks like a bit of a junk room behind me, but hey, I know where most things are. Got a fair few projects here on the go. Namely, uh, and today we're going to look at uh, this project. Bear with me just one second while I flip you around and show you the latest oh, project. Yeah. Right. Oh, we have in the workshop today a gift it's gifted to me which is an old projector an old eight millimeter projector yeah uh, case is a little bit dirty the catches are a little bit rusty but never mind there we see the contents of the case inside the case there is a film so I can test it but obviously I ain't gonna be able to show you that film not on YouTube we have the power cord which has obviously the, the connector for the projector and the plug for the wall the plug and the cabling will get changed out because I don't think it's quite safe. However, we seem to have a spare bulb here. Not the one on the box, it is a different shape altogether. But hopefully, if we need it, it will work. We have the take up spool, which is where you thread your film onto, and once it runs all the way around the system, it collects on here. There seems to be a spare spool, which is more of the size of uh, the film that you would have shot. And the actual projector itself. Now, let's get rid of the case for a minute. Now, hopefully you can see that. Yep. And what will happen is that lifts up there that one hooks on there and this empty spool would have film on which would hook on there and locks in like that the film runs behind the, the lens, in front of the bulb, all the way around and onto the take-up spool. If I've got this right. I've, found, I've got no instructions for this. I've not found any instructions. I may have it wrong. There's not an awful lot on YouTube for this particular model, which is, as you can probably see down here, a Norris 8 Super 50. I've no idea what any of that means. It's not a Super 8 projector. It is an 8mm projector. There is a slight difference. They're both formats are 8mm, but there are slight differences, subtle differences, which we might come into another time. For now, though, this opens up somehow. There we go. I don't know if you can see. Yep, we have the bulb here which is a odd shaped bulb can't even remember how it comes out anyhow that comes out if it needs to we have the lens we have a carrying handle we have switches for the bulb and for the motor we have a belt on here, which turns the film spool, or does it? Don't know, can't remember. And there's a belt inside somewhere that winds it up. Now, I have plugged it in as a quick test when I first received it. And unfortunately... Sorry, fortunately, it did work. The bulb lit up, the motor started turning, 
and then smoke started billowing out of here now if i can bring you in a little bit we have a tripod getting stuck it's been stored a long time so that smoke was probably dust more than anything so what i'm about to do is get me a blower and blow some dust out so bear with me just one second Hopefully, hopefully, you've got enough charge in the uh, thing. Open that up so that's blown inside. Charge up the compressor. There we go. Right, it is only a small compressor and it's making a racket as you can probably tell. So what I'll do is I'll carry on blasting it. I'll mute the volume. Now I know someone's going to say I shouldn't be using the air gun whilst the compressor's charging. And someone else is probably going to say, I shouldn't be blasting air into and around this lovely old machine. But hey, it's got rid of a lot of dust. One thing I did notice on this side, that's where the power thing goes in. Down here, you've got various voltage uh, options, which if I can get you in, you can see it goes from 110, 125, 160, 220 and 240 volts. So it is quite um, universal, internationally universal. This is made in Germany, I know that, because it says here, Ernst, Ernst Planck, Nuremberg. Yeah, and it says it there, Germany as well. So we know this comes from Germany, which, and from what little I can find, on the internet it's mid 60s there's not a great deal to, to really see about this um what i'm going to do now is i'm going to change this out i've got a plug i've got a cable one chunk of cable one plug and what I'm going to do, I'll do it off camera because everyone knows how to wire the plug, don't they? If they don't, well, never mind. Perhaps we'll do that another day, how to wire the plug. But never mind, I'm just going to take that off of this and wire it onto the one end of this. And on the other end, I'll put the, uh, the mains plug. So I'll do that off camera and then, I'll, then we can come back. Hey, okay, that's... Uh, New cabling sorted, uh, as you can see, hopefully the plug is still attached to this old cable. There's no connector attached to that end. New plug, new cable, old connector. Now this will fit in here, as you can see that, either way up. So I'm guessing it doesn't matter which way round the wires go. Laid it out in here, the same as they came out of here, and looked inside here to see how they were wired into there. So it's an exact copy. I'm sure nothing can go wrong, so I'm going to plug it in. Turn it around so you can see what happens as it switches on. Oh, look, I've managed to get the cable tangled already. Yeah. Right, let's plug it in and see where we go. Hopefully, right, the motor's going as you can hear. But I'm guessing the bulb's gone. Oh, look, it's smoking again. 
Where is that smoking from? Shall we turn it on? Can you see in that? Yeah. Let's turn it on with the door open. Oh, look, now we've got a bulb. It's the bulb that's smoking. Right, let's see what we can... That's how that turns out. Ooh. Right, I found out the source of the smoke. It seems to be the shutter. Motor's turning. But there's no spools moving. Ah. As there's no spools moving, that's why the shutter's not turning. Okay, let me turn that off. Get a screwdriver. Disconnect from the mains. In fact, I'll, I'll even pull it out of the back as well. Just to say so doubly sure that I've taken it out of the mains. And let's undo this screw here. Right, I can see the problem straight away. Can you? Yes. Drive belt. Looks rather stretched. Unless it goes somewhere else. Where else could it go? Got to go on there to turn that, which is your shutter, which in turn turns this chain. This chain turns this wheel. Not sure what that does. I think that's got to go round there. Round there. And from here. So I'm probably getting in your way here, but I'm just trying to fathom out what goes where, how to get this. That's it, that's on there. That's turning everything. Now, <clears throat> shall we try the motor again? Fan's turning. That's turning. Oh, look how quiet that is. 
Why is that not moving? Oh, it doesn't. I see. I see. Let me... Don't touch the insides. The film obviously comes through this part here. So I can bring you in a bit. And see where it grabs out the sprockets. That shutter, you can see flickering. Bearing in mind, it's the same technology, albeit on a smaller scale, as what you would have got in the cinema. See how it flicker, it how it flickers. Yes, that's it. That's why they used to call cinema flicks, flickering pictures, etc. Right. The next job is to put the, the uh, bulb in. So let me turn it off. Put it back together. And then I'll put the bulb in. Yeah, put it back together first. Disconnect from the mains. Now I just noticed that down here is a little screw. It's only a little tiny turn screw that holds the bottom half in. So that should stop it coming out there. Right, spin it around again. Put the bulb on. Locked in. Let's connect the power once more. Close that, switch on the motor, switch on the bulb, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that on my hand at all, yep the bulb is working, you can see there is no smoke, wicked, oh and there we're up to speed it's actually flickering, what we need now is to try and work out how to load the film. Turn the bulb off, turn that off, let's have a quick work out how to load a film, I have got a much more sensible film to uh, test it with for the purposes of YouTube, obviously I cannot use that, old, that other film, I will have a look at it though, but um, yes, this is the one we will be testing here live on camera so to speak, so let me work out how to thread it. And then we'll come back right as you can see the film is all spooled up it may not look the neatest from what i've found you have to have a little loop there and a little loop there and the rest of it runs around roll it or mr roller which oh, dropped off there we go so what i propose to do is to turn the projector around don't quite know how this is going to work in fact if I take you off the tripod and we can perhaps find out a little bit of white wall here if I turn the lights out in here switch the motor on switch the light on let's see what happens There we go, we are rather close, but you can see it is working. To a... Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm losing film. The film has fallen off. 
I don't know why. Let me re-spool it. That you might be able to see if I put it down there. Maybe not, it might be a little bit too close. Right, that's rewound on. Let's try again. You're not rolling at this at this back end. Film. Uh, it needs a bigger project projection screen, and I need to find out why this isn't turning. Maybe there's something to do with perhaps it's got to pull it the other way. Let me try that. Hold on. Right, let me just reiterate, I am not an expert. I am not pretending to be an expert. I'm just trying to do things. What I found is that I did have the right setup. Film at the top, take up on the back. The problem was, just here is uh, a bit of an adjuster was a bit loose so now I've tightened it up and I'll switch it on that turns that will now take up the film I've also found rather than where are we threading the film down behind the lens here the lens swings out so all I need to do is just drop the film in between the guides there and it saves all that fumbling about so let me re-thread it and I'll bring you back right we are all re-threaded aim it back at the wall lights out I know we are quite close to the wall I know it's going to be a small picture but hey where are we spin here we go, as you can see, the film is being taken up on the rear spool. Now there should be some adjustments on here somewhere. Oh, it's up and down, on either side to side. I'll bring you in a little bit closer. It's rather red, I need a side to side adjustment. Well, that's definitely focusing. Hold on, hold on, the film's off the uh, thing. One sec. The problem is, the film is off of the guide. Where are we? Here. See, that's the problem why it's not quite right. Let me just adjust that. Right. I'll adjust it up. Let's try again. And something else has got stuck. Everything's turning. You're not getting a picture that we got quite previously. Oh, there we are. But you can see I've got it working. Oh, it stopped again.
everything's still rolling. I don't know why we've stopped projecting. Why the film stopped? Right, I found the problem. The problem is this bit here, it didn't lift up out of the way. So now all I need to do, back to the picture and focus it again. When I find the lens, there it is. Must be on such a short. Is that other? There it is, look at that. You may not be able to see it as well as I can, but to me, that don't look bad at all. Try and bring you a slightly bigger picture. There we go. What I'm going to have to do is find, I've got a screen somewhere, so I can find somewhere to set it up and give it a proper look later on. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Let me just reiterate, I am no expert. I was just trying to get an old piece of kit working. Seems well, I hope you that uh, video, looking at that projector. I certainly had fun putting, getting that working. I seriously haven't tried, opened it or anything until starting to film this so i don't know what the next project will be at the minute will it be a quick one like that or a longer one who knows i might even show that uh, film again with a screen a screen somewhere i don't know where at the moment i'll find somewhere i've got a screen somewhere i'll dig it out and see if we can get a bigger picture just so you can really see it working other than that if anyone it's got any eight millimeter film they wish me to have a look at please do get in touch i do hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching bye for now